Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, because it is once again a day ending in why I must call you to bend your attention to yet another thing in the news that it seems so obvious would happen yet, which nevertheless strikes shock and into at least some of those who look upon it in dread fascination. If you'll recall a while back on this program, we talked about the absolute academic cesspool that was the Baltimore School District. Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? We discussed at length how its academic scores were falling into the kind of territory generally only inhabited by Joe Biden's poll numbers and how tragic it was and remains for the students forced to be manufactured into adult widgets on that particular assembly line. Well, lot of dog, what do you know? As of just the other day, it broke that two parents of a high schooler who graduated while still unable to read have decided to sue the school district. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm sure that your initial reaction to what just came out of my mouth was similar to my reaction when I first heard about it. So allow me to repeat myself lest you think you stumbled and fell into a big old pile of crazy pills and accidentally ingested some. Two parents of a high schooler who graduated while still unable to read have decided to sue the school district. Now what in the urban deliverance you sure got a pretty stereo toothless city slicker juxtaposition is this? Uh... See my outrage. Did you see how surprised I was? Yeah, I'm guessing you weren't really all that surprised either, were you? You believed me the first time I said it because obviously this was going to happen. Folks, it's over. The atrophy of the juvenile American mind has won and public academia as we know and loathe it is finished. Sure, the parents who are suing are hoping that they can send a message to the school district and that it'll wake them up to the reality that this sort of thing can't happen. But the simple truth of the matter is that it can happen and it is happening. And while I do not generally side with the Christopher Nolan version of Joker in a desire to merely watch the world burn when it comes to the American public school system, well, you know where my feelings lie on this. It's not that I don't want our kids to be educated. Far from it. But the idiot factory that we've put together combined with this woke bureaucratic nightmare of an institutional administration isn't the way to do it. It's time to tear that thing down, folks. We can't let stuff like this be happening to our kids. I don't care if they're black, white, brown, yellow, whatever Samoan people are. I don't give a shit. They're all precious in God's sight and they're all precious in mine. But you know whose sight they're not? freaking precious in the public school system site. That's who. So let me ask you something, Baltimore School District employees and teachers. How in the world do you go to sleep at night? How do you live with what you're producing? What is it? Are you just lazy? When they brought you on board to try to educate the children who were placed in your care, was the elucidated policy that you should wish in one hand and poop in the other and see which filled up faster? Because that's what it seems like the policy is. Because folks, you know, I'm a broken record at this point, but I'm going to keep spinning around and around shouting the same refrain until something happens that gets our kids in a better situation than having to deal with these ass clowns ruining your futures. Get your kids out of public schools. Love you. God bless.